Okay guys, this is gonna be a really short video, which is good because it means this trick is simple and easy to do. So today I'm going to show you how to save an overwatered plant without actually disturbing the roots and taking apart all of the soil and then repotting it into new soil. So I got this Hoya Crimson Princess from Walmart and it was on clearance for $7.85, which is great. And that doesn't really matter if the plant dies. So we need to figure out how to save it because it is not going to survive in the sopping wet heavy soil that it's in. So we need to find a way to solve that. Just for fun, I'm gonna show you how much this weighs. A hanging basket of this size should not weigh five pounds. That is almost a human baby. Actually, some human babies weigh that. Okay, on to the rest of the video. So right here we have an old towel. You can use old towels or you can use paper towels. I find using paper towels incredibly wasteful because you have to basically use a roll depending on the size of your plant. So I would say uh, use a towel. So we're just gonna take off the hanger right here just because we need to get the whole plant out in one piece. And I'm hoping this doesn't fall apart. I'm hoping that there are some pretty good roots in here. So we're just going to flip the plant over, not completely, we don't want it to land on itself and break. And it's, uh, it's, it's wet. Yep, wet. That's not, that's not how a Hoya should be. Okay, so now that we've made a complete mess, what we are going to do is wrap the Hoya in the towel, the root ball, and that's going to absorb all of the excess moisture. I'm going to fold this over. Oh my god, you should hear the noises coming off of this thing. It's like, ew. So we've got it kind of double folded, and what we're going to do is wrap it like this, and we're going to put it dirt going everywhere. Wrap it like that and set it back into the pot. So we're going to leave this for a couple hours and then we're going to come back and put in a new towel. And we're going to keep doing that until the towel is pretty much dry. At that point, your plant is fine to just go back in its pot and, you know, sit until it dries out really well and you need to water it again. So if you go to Walmart or any other big box stores and the employees there have a vendetta against the plants and they're trying to murder them, this is a good way to save them. This was actually outside in full sun on a hanger. Some of it's sunburnt. It's just like terrible. I was like, so <laughs> your goal is to fry this? while rotting this. Can you get any worse? What, what are you gonna do? Like throw it in with the ice cream next? But whatever, it was $7.85 and it's a basket full of Hoyas. So if I can save this, totally worth it. Here's some of the sad burnt leaves. Kind of fried, this one's kind of limp. There's still active growing vines though, so. I'm hopeful. Okay, people, it is the next day and we are back. And before I ended the last segment of this video, I forgot to tell you that you should put your plants in a well-ventilated area while you're doing this. So you can put it in a window if it's warm outside or you can take it outside if it's not going to rain, but just make sure it's not going to rain or else you're gonna be back to square one. You can also take a fan and put it on low and set it back a few feet from the plant. Just something to get the air moving around the plant and to take away the moisture. Okay, so here we have our slightly less moist Hoya after the biblical flood it experienced at Walmart and it's a little bit lighter so I'm gonna show you on the scale my handy dandy scale okay and it's three and a half pounds the last thing I remember is that it was five pounds so basically I took out a pound and a half of water. Now it's still pretty moist, so I'm not going to water it for probably like a week or so, but it's manageable and it's probably not going to kill the plant. And in doing this, we didn't disturb the roots. And why do you not want to disturb the roots? Because when you disturb the roots, which are very fragile, it's the most fragile part of the plant, you're making lacerations and cuts into the roots and that's allowing in pathogens and mold and bacteria that are already thriving in the soil. So when I see people disturb plants in really moist soil, a lot of times, 
after you know they take it out and pot it up into more dry soil it still ends up dying so i think that this method is better than tearing apart your pot and it saves you time it saves the plant from having to go through a lot of stress and it allows the plant to basically start growing and get back into active growth once it is dry and on a regular water regime another thing that i forgot to mention while you're at the store take down the pot or you know pick it up wherever it's located and pull at the base of the stem of the plant that you're looking at a little bit. Obviously not super hard, but if it comes out really easy or you know you kind of see the flesh of the plant is translucent or brown or black, then it's probably rotted away and it's kind of too far gone. So definitely do that. Of course you're not really going to damage the plant. It's already on the reduced rack if you pull out a rotted piece of stem. At least the next person sees that it's rotted and it eventually just goes in the trash instead of someone buying it. And it'll save them from having to go through the sadness of buying a rotted plant and not knowing that it's rotted and getting it home and it just declining. So yeah, definitely a good idea to kind of check out the plant beforehand. If it's a small plant, you could also probably just like tip it over and like take the pot out if no one's looking. I do this sometimes. Obviously, you're not really disturbing anything unless, you know, everything completely falls apart. Then it's probably rotted and it's too far gone anyways. But I feel as a consumer, I have the right to kind of like check out a plant before I buy it as long as I'm not disturbing things too much. So here's the aftermath of all the towels that I had to use. So this towel, this towel, <laughs> this towel, I'm getting dirt everywhere. This towel, this is a bath towel, guys, guys, and that's about it. But um, yeah, so that's where the pound and a half of water went. Other than going into the air, I am getting dirt all over myself. But what's new? Got some laundry to do. Almost dropped that on my Hoya. <laughs> Can you imagine? I like totally destroy my Hoya after trying to save it. Honestly, like these are so handy, especially if you have plants and stuff like that and you're constantly getting dirt everywhere and you don't want to whip out a full-size vacuum, like get one of these. This is by Black & Decker. I got it at Walmart a long time ago, but it still works fine. And this is actually my second Hoya Crimson Princess that I got at Walmart. The last one I got, I was able to get before the Walmart employees drowned it. And that's featured in my last video about the origin of variegation. And I just walk you through how it arises at the cellular level all the way to a full mature variegated leaf. So if you want to check it out, I think it's very interesting. Of course, if this one was a full, healthy, lush crimson princess, not on the verge of death, I would have not bought it and I would have let someone else find it. But since it looked like it was on its last leg and it wasn't going to make it another day, I decided that I would buy it. But that is it for today. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you. I hope you can rescue a bunch of overwatered plants effectively and not have to rip them apart. I'm always here to try and find easier and more productive ways to get the same things done that we've been doing before and that's kind of just how I operate so if you want to see more videos like this more tips and tricks shortcuts whatever uh, stick around subscribe like the video if you'd like the video and let me know what you want to see in the future down in the comments or let me know if you have any questions thank you so much and have a wonderful day